What's good? Yeah. We back. True Talk Session. Rod Grizz got my second guest for the night. Yeah. He had a little trouble getting here. Oh, we good. We shining. But Shout out to the bridge. But he's here. Yeah, we here. We here. We meant to be here. I'll be back. Uh-huh. I'm What's here. What's going on? Bronx own? Yeah, the Bronx. You know, the Bronx is something that um I will never die. It would, never, it would, it would stay with me forever, man. BX, man. I love it. I love the people. You know, I love the... You know what I my my surroundings when I was raised. You know I I actually saw Slick Rick like just walk, you know across the basketball court or you know the Zulu Nation actually threw Park Jams right in the middle of the center. You know and so I loved what the Bronx was, and I think there's a lot of motherfuckers out there that don't know what the Bronx was. You know yeah. I think it's just I don't I don't think they understood. I think they think we just want to claim that we started hip hop and all that you know what I mean nah it was a special place it went it literally went from niggas shooting each other gang violence to I right, I'm a battle you and break dancing and yeah it literally like nobody talked yeah. about how beautiful that whole switch right there bond you you can tell how genuine it is already cuz you jumping right into love that love it love the BX you I love it you can tell how much you love it yeah. you jump right into that yeah man yeah, I love my people, you know. Yeah. And, and so you know, you was telling me I had some said a little line in that last verse. Where I was like, <laughs> "Fuck with it's a little thud thud in the cut, <laughs> like peroxide," <laughs> because you know, like Latinos don't get the love, man. Like, I mean, we started hip hop. Yeah, and people would be like, you know, hip hip hop's black music. And they they segregated us to think like that. When the truth is, you know, Jose was at those parties. The you know what I mean? yeah. crazy legs and the 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 graffiti. Who you who exactly. you think was who started that graffiti? B Street. They had B Street, which is my favorite movie. Rainbow, Rainbow yeah. and Carmen, baby. <laughs> Come on now. B Street is my favorite. Now hold on, I gotta be. I I'm gotta, Carmen gotta and Rainbow's little, baby. I gotta, I gotta be a little biased because I'm from Brooklyn and I right. actually was a little kid who knew Lee. Wow, he was famous in our neighborhood because wow. he did that movie. But yeah. you know, but yeah, B Street, man. B Street. Yeah. B Street. Shout out to the director Stan Lathan. Yeah, you know? um, that's history right there. Yeah, and 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 so like, it just gets looked over. You know, your man outside was like, "Oh yeah, you 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 fuck with Pun, right? Yeah, yeah." And you know, like I I used to watch Pun do so many interviews, and you know, I really think he really hated being called a Latin rapper. He's like, "What instead of just a rapper? What the fuck is a Latin rapper? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, this is our culture. What do you say?" About yeah. what we are, Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? That's what people be like, "Yo, son, son, you an actor, right?" Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Nobody ever said to Sammy Davis Jr., "You're a black tap dancer." Come on, G. And so then Sinatra was like, "Nah, son's cool. I'm gonna throw him in the rap pack. We're gonna do movies." Nobody yeah. was like, "Oh, so are you still tap dancing?" Like it's like it's what I do is who I, it's who we are you know it's not what it's not what I it's not even what I do it's who I am yeah BX hip hop it's it's a I'm Puerto Rican I'm hip hop you know what I mean I'm black I'm hip hop your name I'll be back now yeah. uh, I'll be from Albert yeah Albert how did you twist it back into there like what's what's that all about has anybody ever asked you that. Yeah, because um, I didn't see it nowhere. I yeah. was looking, you know. What I mean, how did I'm I like, get the well, name first of all, I didn't look at interviews. I don't like watching interviews. interviews. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, people I'm gonna have on, but yeah. I didn't see nowhere where it said that. At. Yeah, I tell you, um, hmm. uh, you know, I, 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 I called Pun up, um, and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck? You been here for like a week? You know what I mean? Like, yo, where are you?" So he was in. He wasn't. In his house, he was renovating his new house, so he was in a hotel, and so I finally got through to him. You know, I was doing great at school, like I was like, you know, and, and a lot of great things were happening to me. A lot of great things were happening to us, right? At the time, with Pun coming out with his next album, and it was a good energy, and and he was coming home from the from the like the Fat Farm place, and and the place where he just was trying to lose weight and try to get away from everybody and focus, and um, he was like. No, 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 I'm, I got to go do some promo for Endangered Species. I don't think it was called Yeah Baby at the time. I got for for Endangered, and then um, don't worry, I'll be back. Okay, okay. And when he said that, he said, um, hold on. That's your name right there. 
I'll be, I'll be back. back. Wow. And then and then and then he died the next day. Wow. That's deep. So that's the last thing I ever heard from him. And and I you know, um and I'm back. So <laughs> and I always feel like that. It don't matter what you say. You could call you I could make the trashest album ever. I'm gonna be back next year. And and the year after. I'm back. You kinda like set up the next question which I wasn't gonna ask. But for when you dropped your last project yeah. to now, why did you take so long? Yeah, uh, I had a daughter. I had, I had my seed, okay. you know, and I planted it in the earth. And, um, man, she came out, you know, March 29th, you know, 2012. And she's, and she's one. Wait, what's Biggie's day? Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, Biggie's day is March 9th. Okay, okay. The um, knife threw yeah. me off. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah I heard that knife. Okay. But, but March 29th is when her son rised. And, True. And, and, um, Congratulations. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gave her that time. You know, I gave her, I, I, I rocked out with her. I was, I had her three months and it just being a baby and just t teaching her, you know, when to cry, when not to cry. That's your first? Yeah, it's my first. My, oh, yeah, my it does it to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does it to you. Yeah, and, and just making a, you know, a strong, and she's, she's fly. She's just so dope. And, you know, I guess anybody I sees on my Instagram or whatever, you know, they, they instantly fall in love with Caitlyn Paris Daniels because she um she exudes love. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I did. And so Rafael De La Ghetto was like a poetry record where I, I I got a chance to do a lot of poetry lot you know, and just really you know, you remember Rafael De La Ghetto, right? You mm -hmm. remember seeing that episode of Will's uh, Fresh Prince? Yeah. Where he was like, yeah. he, where he he stunned it for the chick. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he stunned it for the chick, man. And, you know, and I remember that. I remember I used poetry to um, to talk to girls in sixth grade. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, like, you know, I, I sell poems to my homeboys. For for them to use for fries and hot yeah and they would get, do the they would read the poem to their friend to their girl and be like yo son she loved it yeah <laughs> dope, dope dope time well yo since you just uh referenced pun through this segment yeah. just now yeah uh, I want to lead up to this joint that uh, when I first heard it about a month ago. Mm. And I was like, wow, uh, the J. Cole joint you remix. Yeah, nobody, that was so, uh, no one, <laughs> I, I didn't even think it I'm was out there. Head, I put it know. in the, I put, yeah. it, I put it I put it in the cut. Like, I gave it to Shake from Two Dope Boys, yeah. and he showed love to it, but I didn't. No, 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 that, because actually, uh, I don't, I have, he, like, he saw it early, he said, yo, this is alive. And I said, yeah, because I don't want to play the version that's the audio with J. Cole on it. I like his version and how it, it fades out a little bit at the end. Cause oh, the live, live version? Like, the live, oh, yeah, wow. the live version. It, that wow. right there was more intimate, the live version. Yeah. yeah. But what yeah. made you, like what what triggered off your mind to go, yo, I want to touch that and, and speak on pun? You're right. Because I don't, I'm not super personal. A lot of the records, I love to, you know, paint pictures yeah. or, or listen to what the beat is saying. But J. Cole, man, J. Cole... Shouts to Cole, you know, I remember when Cole was running around in the city, you know, when he was in college and stuff, you know, Cole, that let Nas down. That's a, that was a that was a real feeling for him, you know? Yeah. And um and I felt like I let Nas down because I, you know, pun seen my my enthusiasm to me and him used to argue all the time like Nas is the greatest ever G stop and he'd be like <laughs> not like he'd be like yeah son. but he was in his competitive mode like how you see how you know Drake and and and, and the Kendricks and how they all kind of like real good he was in the middle of it so it, it was hard for him to even like fathom or think about Nas and some great shit he was like I'm, I'm, I'm here yeah you know what I mean I'm yeah. coming yeah. so so I get, I get. He's like, move over. I love that that style that Nas got. The the, the street poet. That's yeah. me. Yeah. I'm a street poet. And it's like, so I couldn't understand why he was focused on that. But coming to the Joe Clear thing in the BT, you know the you know um, we had the um, Rap City. They, they they came to interview Pun for the for his pool hall that he made, and he was like. You know who's your favorite rapper? And I, I instead of saying Nas, instead of saying Pun, like my Pun, 
You know what I mean? Pun would have probably, pro- probably Pun would have just said, "Yo, hey, yo, I shot a drink, Jordan, so I'm bad at your team." We would went back and forth, and I would've yeah. been on TV forever. You would have saw me as a 14 year old kid. You know what I <laughs> mean? Instead, <laughs> instead of saying pun, you know, he, I said Nas, yeah. and so enthusiastic, right? I was like, "Yo, did you hear what he said when he said I peeped you fronting? I was in the Jeep, sunk in the seat, tinted with heat, beats bumping." Yeah. Niggas looked at me like, what are you doing? You fucking idiot. <laughs> I actually think that night, <laughs> that night, <laughs> I, this is a part of the story I never told. That night, Pud had some, like, fucking gloves. They always boxing. Pun was a boxer, you know what I mean? And his cousin, Booby, was like a professional boxer, yeah. really dope boxer, man. And his and and so they, they come from a boxing family. And so they convinced me that I could beat this guy up. Because I was a tall kid. You know what I mean? I was like, all right. You know, and I got to get my punches in. I got to, you know, we in, we out here. You know what I mean? I'm tired yeah. of niggas snapping on me, too. Yeah. And, uh, man, I got my, I, I completely. You got trash? So I was on the floor. <laughs> I remember waking up. I remember waking up. And that was it. And I think he did that. He allowed that to happen because of the stupidity of how much I love Nas so much. So then. He goes in the studio and he says, you know, taking the young cast past the start. First it was Nasty Nas. Now watch me turn this apple into Macintosh. Oh, that came from that? Jeez. So, 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 so but, but he was, but he was just coming and he's just coming as, a, you know, to being a, a, a young poet. Like, yo, I got this. Like, yeah. it's not, he didn't diss him. No, he wasn't he coming at him, no. but he was like, yo, I'm here. Yeah. And so, and so, and so, but that was on the Thug Brothers. You know, Brave in the Heart, and we eventually Doug Brothers turned into Brave in the Heart, mm. but Doug Brothers was for Flex for Volume yeah. Three, right? So, so I said it was called, it was for Doug Brothers for Nori, but peep the highlight to the story. So when he says it, I go, and now I sit on my iPhone Four, right? Because it was, it was, uh, it was um, the Macintosh line, yeah. and who knew that it was yeah. going to come to this, right? Now I sit on my iPhone Four. Tim Duncan still on it, nigga. I go raw because Cain was like Jesus. Pun tore the Bible, rolled it up, and bust down the street disciples. Yes. Now, here's the thing, right? In that moment, when Pun was spitting that, he was rapping for the future because his little man put him out again. <laughs> it's insane. So, but you, but if you think about it, that's what Cole and Nas said. Freedom of jail, clips inserted. The baby's being born. Same time a man is murdered. The beginning and end. Yeah. As far as rap go, it's only natural. I explain my plateau and also what defines my name. It's I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. It's I'll be back. Yeah, it's I'll be back. It's I'll be back. <laughs>